I'm surprised to see so many of you all here. Have you been here before? Maybe you have been here on that day, back in 1780, July 11th to be in exact. It was a terrible, disturbing day. Huck, Captain Christian Huck and his men, they came up through the back country and were in Fishing Creek. I heard they were going to the meeting house first, but they came to my house. My husband, Mr. Strong, was away, so how could I protect my family or defend my husband's property from that cruel, awful tyrant? I hope you and your family escaped the wrath of that terrible excuse for a human being. I had no warning that they were coming to my house. They entered and plundered every single thing they could find. They took clothing and furniture and even coffee. They took the corn and the wheat. As they were carrying it out, some of the corn spilled on the ground and a pigeon came down and pecked at the ground like every other day. But in one swoop, Captain Huck took his sword and lopped the head off that poor pigeon. He said to me, Madam, I have cut the head off of the Holy Ghost. I was furious. I told him, Captain Huck, you will never die in your bed and you will never be, it will never be the death of a righteous man. Well, to make matters worse, as they were advancing on the house, I sent my son William to the barn with his scriptures. I sent him so he could hide in the barn and read the good book. After they destroyed the house, they did go to the barn. And when they discovered my son William sitting in the corner, they shot him dead. What good was that death to their beloved cause? They dragged his body out of the barn. They hacked it with their swords. I couldn't stand it. I ran in front of them. I pleaded with them, but they ignored my pleas. I did the only thing that a mother could do. I threw myself on my son's lifeless body as they continued to try to destroy it. I could do the only thing a mother could do. Sega, I could just die with him so that I could, wouldn't watch them hack my son's body to pieces before my eyes.